DNA. So what is it? Deoxyribonucleic acid. Commonly referred to as DNA. You've heard it in forensic science, in science in general, in biology. You've heard it used pretty regular. So what is DNA? Simply put, it's a molecule responsible for the development, the functioning, and the reproduction of all living things, especially human beings. But did you not know that DNA can be compromised? You are biology, so am I, all living things, biological. There are certain elements that make us who we are. DNA is the key thing. But when you change the way in which DNA is supposed to, by nature, develop and or reproduce the human cells and the body in general, when you change that or alter that and compromise that, you don't have, how should I say, you don't have the integrity by which you were born with. I'm trying not to sound confusing. In other words, we were made, we were created to have a certain functionality as human beings, as living organisms. But when we put poisons, toxins in our bodies, on our bodies, we alter our own DNA. So thereby, when we have babies, their DNA has been compromised so they can come out deformed. They could come out still life. They could come out with some malady based on what our lifestyle has been. And for the most part, what you put on and what you put in your body can alter your own, your very own DNA. So, let's cut to the chase. Genetically modified foods can alter our DA, excuse me, DNA. And whether you believe this or not, all you need to do is just follow up behind what I'm saying to you right now. And you will find it to be true if you truly care to know the truth. So, many of our foods and food products have genetically modified organisms contained therein. Some you won't believe and don't want to believe, but they do anyway. And when we continue to consume these products without doing research, without doing our own due diligence, and being steadfast about what we put in our bodies, on our bodies, and even give to our families to do the same, we're doing ourselves and our future generations a great injustice. So here, I have a list of genetically modified foods. And this is not all of them, but this sort of paints the picture. Soy or soybeans and corn are two of the highest genetically modified foods. Soy and corn, believe it or not. Sugar, that's table sugar. Aspartame, artificial sweetener. Papaya, the fruit. Canola oil, cottonseed oil, zucchini and yellow squash. Dairy and meats and eggs. Many of these, most of these, are highly genetically modified food sources. Nowadays, as of the publishing of this video, they are. And it gets worse and worse and worse as time goes on. Does the food manufacturers really care about us? and really want us to have wholesome food now what's wholesome food that which is excuse me that which encourages life and the prolonging of life that which feeds our bodies all the way down on the cellular level those are wholesome foods those things that are organically grown 
planet if you will and those things that are free from pesticides fungicides insecticides and herbicides and so forth all of the chemical runoff those things that are devoid of those poisons that's what our body needs but is that what our bodies are getting in our traditional grocery stores I say not we're not getting that so it's up to us to be our own scientists to be our own warriors for life's sustainability so are you in or are you going to read your packages from now on when you go grocery shopping or are you going to seek out and research alternative food sources outside of the traditional grocery store because it's not doing it they are not going to sell us healthy food when you walk into your traditional grocery store 90 percent that's a conservative figure 90 percent of what we're buying in the grocery stores traditionally is all contaminated it looks good tastes good it appears well to be marketed inside the store nice packaging but seeing and feeling can be fooling as well this is brother teacher start taking a vested interest in your life in your health and that of your families start today don't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow is not promised to anyone Stop eating the poison that's in the foods in your traditional grocery stores. I'm out.